Come on out. Just work light, move around, get up on the toes. Okay, go ahead. Okay, break, now, give me a helmet. Now, what we're gonna do is, Pat and I are gonna do the same thing with the exception that I am not gonna sit in and box with him. I'm gonna try to get out of that element as soon as possible. I'm gonna try to get into my game. I'm gonna try to get into this. Now, remember, you can't get out of the element of boxing unless you've been in the element of boxing. You have to have boxed and put in the flight time. You have to have put in the flight time at the tie boxing the whole nine yards. Doesn't mean you have to be a professional boxer. You don't have to be the best tie boxer to beat a tie boxer. You just gotta kinda know their thing. It's like knife fighting. To defend against the knife, you gotta learn how to use a knife. Now my goal right now is I'm gonna kick the thigh, I'm gonna enter, and right when we get into clinch range, when the boxer's gonna go down to work the body is when I'm gonna be putting this in. So just try to count the opportunities when I am trying to get out of boxing and get into my game. Okay, Pat. Now you see what I'm doing is when I have that helmet, which is a lot harder than the head because it's about this big, but when you've got the helmet, I'm always moving him around. I'm not letting him get set to throw one of those shots. And as I'm tugging and pulling, ah, there's a shot. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there's another shot. So I'm keeping him off balance. I'm entering. And when that appropriate time is there, I'm throwing in one of my tools. Now let's move along to our next tool, which is the knee. Once again, we're going to equate it against the boxer. He's going to move around. We don't know when we're going to make our entry. It's going to be a sort of intuitive thing. The one thing I am going to add as a sort of prerequisite in this scenario is that I'm going to have a wall against me so I can slam Kurt up against the wall. If I'm fighting a boxer, I don't want to get in and box a boxer. I want to end it as quickly as possible. Once again, I want to get into my game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find that timing. I'm going to ride one of those tools back and use the forward pressure of Wing Chun and then I'm just gonna kick right into the knee. When you knee somebody, there are various parts on the body you can knee them at. This nerve that runs down the leg, the sciatic nerve, great spot. The groin, great spot. Anywhere and up here, great. This particular case, we're gonna be kneeing probably somewhere in this area. If you don't have a cup on, probably somewhere in this area. All right, Kurt. Now, Kurt's just doing his thing. This is not pre-rehearsed. He's trying to hit me. When I feel it right, I'm gonna just go in. When I go in, the knees are gonna fly. This is how you have to train. It can't be a one or two step thing. It can't be a kata mentality or a pre-rehearsed thing. Everything has to come out of movement. You have to have the element of timing every time you do a technique. Otherwise, when the street fight comes, you're gonna miss the timing, have all the techniques in the world and lose. Okay. Now, as we saw there, all I did was I waited a little bit. I allowed him to initiate. He threw the jab in. I kind of waited. I waited a little bit, and then I grabbed him. All I did was shove him. I ran with forward pressure until I got the knee in. Notice when I finally had him slammed on the wall, I had him pinned here to a point to where he wasn't moving. Then that's when a couple of the knees came in. If you simulate the knee, boom, then you go back to the headbutt. But his hands are pinned because I've got him up against the wall. So this is the street mentality. Even though we use the boxer's mode of entry, we still have that street mentality, that savvy. Now in our next scenario, what we're doing is we're fighting the boxer once again. And fighting the boxer, we don't want to fight in boxing range. So every time he starts to encroach, we're going to get that kick off. We're going to intercept. It's either going to be a shuffle kick to the groin or probably a rear leg kick to the thigh or maybe a jeet tech, that little side kick. As soon as we make that entry, as soon as we make that kick, we're trying to blast. Since this isn't our blast tape, what I'm gonna be doing is just grabbing the neck and I'm gonna be throwing the knees in. 
I'm going to isolate the knees on the thigh for this particular drill. Remember, these are just drills. These are bits and pieces of the street fight. So we can make our own rules. We can say this one we're boxing, this time we're going against the kicker, this time the tie boxer. Okay, let's do tie boxing and go for foot sweeps. You just keep making it up. You'll never be bored. But the main thing, the main element is when you do make it up, whatever drill you want to come up with, you do it out of movement, you do it out of reality, and the guy really tries to hit you. So Brad here is going to really try to hit me sparring, and my goal is going to be to kick his thighs before he gets into his range, grab the neck and start kneeing him in the groin and in the thigh. We'll see how it goes. notice what I'm doing is I'm waiting. The first thing I'm waiting to do is for him to come in. As soon as I saw him coming in, bam, take the thigh. The second time I saw him coming in, boom, I take the groin. Now I'm not thinking that's going to beat him, but that is just my entry. From there, we would kick into this. For, I didn't do that, I just grabbed the head. Once you got the head, he can't really get in with a good body shot. Now I'm coming in with the knees. That was our next drill. Let's play with it. 